Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and a little short video. Um, these are my new glasses that I got because I need glasses. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't wear them. I spend most of my time pretending that I don't need glasses and that I don't need to wear glasses. And then I'll be driving and I'll be like, I can see fine. And then I'll be like, what does that say? Mm, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> um, I just wanted to give you a little bit more info on, so I have finishing up my book. I have my free seven day slim down, which is on my website. You can grab www.drbethwesty.com and so much great information there for women. It is really focused on clean eating, protein pacing, um, just a great, just a great plan to follow, to start on, to really get a handle on how to eat clean. If you've never followed a meal plan, this is a perfect way to start. If you've followed a million meal plans, another perfect way to start because there's so many things packed into it. Carb cycling, intermittent fasting, all these things. And I really focus on nutrition for women. So I release a ton of info on that. And oh, hi Amber. <laughs> One of the things I know, right? I'm going to have to like wear my new glasses to be like, who's commenting? Who's, who's saying something, but I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to wear my glasses. Oh, they don't work like this, by the way. Oh, that looks weird. Okay. Anyway, so along with, um, all the stuff I do on Facebook, cause I do a lot of live videos. So I decided to do a little, a video that's a little bit different and just essentially introduce myself a little bit more. If you've watched some of my videos, <laughs> hi Christy. Um, if you've watched some of my videos, you know, uh, my jam is nutrition, nutrition for women. I'm a chiropractor. I also am trained as a massage therapist and acupuncturist and Eastern medicine and everything. Um, I've studied a lot of Ayurvedic medicine, love, love, love alternative health. And I do a ton of research and those are my favorite things. I could talk about those all day. I was actually at my daughter's softball game the other day and one of her kids was talking or one of the moms was talking to me about her kid's skin. And all of a sudden, like all of a sudden I realized like 15 minutes and gone by and I was like, oh, and then blah, 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 blah. And you should be doing probiotics and then try this coconut oil thing on your skin and then the kombucha and da, da, da. But if she doesn't like the kombucha, you can try kefir because that still has a lot. And I was like, oh, that's a lot. I just bulldozed her with information. It's good. It's really good. So in knowing about how passionate I am about women's health and getting information out to women because this poor mom like she didn't even know what to do for her kids. She's like, I've tried all these creams and I don't even know. And I was like, try this elimination diet and blah, blah, blah. And here's some easy things that you can do while doing an elimination diet. Not just, oh, cut everything out and life's going to suck for you and your kid for a few weeks. It's, hey, do it like this because that makes it easy because I've done that with my kids. Um, and just finding these different ways to communicate this with, <laughs> hi, Katie KB, with people so that they get a great result. Um, so I have all this information for women. I do videos just about every day talking about information, talking about protein, getting this information out there. But if you're interested, like who is this gal? Like what's her deal? Why is she always wearing workout clothes? So here's a few things about me and, and why I love talking about this. So this isn't like, a, this isn't like a get up. This isn't like, oh, I'm going to put on my workout clothes so I can do a video. So I look like I'm doing fit things. No. I live in these clothes. I live in them. This is I, I came from bar class and I started doing other things. And then I was like, oh, I got to do video still. So I, I'm wearing it. I'm still wearing my stuff. So I wear workout video or workout clothes all day long because I do. I work out and then I just don't change. I mean, I shower usually, but I have kids. So that's kind of how it goes. Um, I grew up in Minnesota. I grew up on a small goat farm and I grew up milking goats and I grew up showing goats in the fair. And you guys are going to be lucky to hear this. Um, you are watching the Dakota County champion goat groomer. That's a thing. Yeah. I, so it wasn't until recently that I realized how weird it is when you talk about showing your goats in the fair, that that's a weird thing for people. I'm like, yeah, you show me goats in the fair. They're like, wait, like what? Like, what do you do with a goat? And I was like, like you enter it in the fair and you get judged on your goat and like and the breed. And, and I love goats. I love goats. I'm part of goat groups on Facebook. Those exist and they're amazing. People post amazing pictures and videos of their goats. I love it. <laughs> oh, okay. so you guys are funny. Yes. I just, I love goats. And so I was explaining to somebody how I was like, yeah, I showed goats in the fair and they're like, well, what does that, what does that mean? And I was like, well, 
you know, you, you shave your goat. And they were like, whoa, 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 what? You shave a goat? And I was like, yeah, duh. <laughs> Gotta get the goat prepped. Like you trim their hooves, you shave them, you have to shave them just right. You wash them and clean them and brush them and all these other things to make sure they're show ready. And then you have to practice with them. You put a collar, a special chain like link collar. I mean, there's no sharp thingies in it like dog collars. It's just a regular metal chain collar. Yeah, 4-H, right? Yes. Um, and you lead them around the ring and you have to teach them how to walk. And if you've ever hung out with goats, teaching them how to walk around a rink or, a, you know, like a little yard. Are you kidding me? They're like, F you lady. I'm not walking around here. I'm going to go do what I want to do. <laughs> so that's like, that's a, that's like a joke, you know, like leading a goat around. Um, <laughs> yes, it's leading a goat around the ring and being like, Oh goat, come with me. We're going to hang out for a while and let me show you how this goes. And so you can be judged at the fair. Right. So I did that for years growing up and I thought it was fun and that was my thing. And right. And I didn't know that it sounded weird until I was explaining to somebody else that you shave a goat. And they're like, well, how do you shave a goat? And I was like, well, mostly it's wrestling the goat to like hold them down enough so you can with a buzzer, you know, they don't like it. <laughs> so, so, um, but I actually one year won the, uh, championship prize for showmanship, which means I had the best shaved goat. <laughs> so there you go. Um, you need a goat shaved. I'm your gal. And I do a really, really good work there. Um, <laughs> no, but, so growing up on a farm kind of community. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I got all sorts of talents like that. Growing up in a farm community, I grew up, I mean, we had gardens growing up. My mom grew a lot of, you know, a lot of vegetables. So grew up with healthy food that way. And I think that's probably where my passion started for food. Cause I, you know, I remember going right to the garden and grabbing a tomato with dirt still on it, you know, chewing on it stuff like that. Um, and it, everything just kind of expanded from there. I was an athlete growing up. I played volleyball, basketball track. I, I did just about every sport. I got played volleyball in college, um, and really love fitness. And I'm really passionate about health for women and fitness and everything because women function completely differently. And I think I was, I was about in high school when I remember started, I started reading some coaching books because I had started coaching younger girls in like younger camps. And it's a very different game when you start coaching. So when you're working with kids and you're working with um, girls versus boys teams, then it makes a big difference in terms of your coaching style. Boys and girls respond very differently. And it's the same throughout life, right? Women, men and women do business differently. And I really think men and women should be eating differently, eating from their, um, you know, oh, hi, Felicia, I, you know, eating for their hormones and their cycle. So I really started diving into a lot with um, leadership and coaching when I was in high school, just because I, that's what I was doing with younger girls, you know, coaching basketball camps, coaching volleyball camps, and I loved it. Um, yeah, so a little bit more. What else, what else do you guys want to know about? I hate shopping. Um, it makes me rashy. Like I, whenever, so this is, again, this is what I usually wear. I wear workout clothes all the time. That's what I live in, and I love it. If I have to wear anything else, like for, cause I do TV appearances, uh, segments to promote my book or to promote, promote women's health, things like that. I, I have to go shopping with somebody or I have to take pictures of what I'm going to wear and like send it to somebody and it has to be approved. You're like, can I wear this? Is this okay? Cause I just don't know. I just, it's like, I don't know with the clothes and I don't want to put it on and uh, it makes me, I'm like, I'm like getting anxiety right now. just talking about it. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> so on that front too. Oh, so here is. Um, this is my little workstation, but so here is me and my husband, um, we've been married for 10 years now and he's, he's a great person. He's a great dad and, um, a great life partner and all those nice things. And then here's, here's some pictures of me and my kids. This is when they were a little bit younger family stuff. Very cute. Look how cute and sweet they look, right? They're for sale sometimes because they make me crazy. But on the, on the other front with my kids, so sometimes people are like, you know, you see like moms at the store and their kids are all like matchy matchy and they look, you know, whatever. I don't, I don't do that with my kids. Like I let them dress themselves. 
it is it's their it's their day it's their outfit they choose what they want to wear as long as it doesn't have holes in it and it fits them you know like and I will tell them and be like yo buddy your shirt's on backwards or it's inside out or whatever he'll be like all right and if he changes it he changes if he doesn't he doesn't and they just wear it and I let him roll with it um so <laughs> that's that's yeah um the other thing is that my oldest my son is colorblind so he's red, green, colorblind. So it's really funny to see him dress himself because sometimes I'm like, ooh, buddy, mm, mm, mm. that is real. I mean, I am not a fashionista by any stretch of the means. That is really outside my comfort zone. I don't like get manicures or paint my nails I because it just, what a pain in the ass is my thought. <laughs> but for my kids, you know, when they want to express themselves, if my girls want to paint their nails, we do the nail painting, we do the things like that, okay? And when they want to dress themselves, I, I let them roll with it, even if it's like, oh, whatever. But again, it's, uh, you know, it's, I just let them do their thing. Probably also because it, it that's an area of my life where it makes me severely uncomfortable. <laughs> the clothing and the getting dressed and looking normal. Katie, you said your your nephew is colorblind too. Yeah, it's hereditary and more common in boys and all those other things. Fun things that I learned. Yeah, and I also learned it wasn't until after my son was born and diagnosed with being colorblind that I learned my uncle is colorblind. I never knew that. So yeah, kind of funny. Um, what else about me that uh, that you guys would find interesting? I think um, besides oh besides my book is going to be done very soon I know I get a lot of questions on that is your book done yet it's done it's really 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 close yes and that's one of the things where once it is done it's going to be such a relief to kind of focus on a lot of other things um and I'm really excited to get this information out to women I have been working on this book for years really years and this was the reason I sold my office. This is the reason I completely shifted how I work my life because I wanted this information to get out to women because I believe we just don't have the right information to really fuel our bodies properly. And it's all these other things that women need to learn. So it's it's one of those things that I, I can't wait for it to be here and just be done and be like, oh, you want to learn more? Here's the book. It's finally here. Ah. <laughs> yes. Um, what else? I... Yeah, so I'm married, I have kids, I have three kids, um, I live in Minnesota, yeah, I grew up in Minnesota, and I, I like goats, and I like sports, and I like food, and protein, all the protein, <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, I'm also super tall, <clears throat> I'm 6'2", and if you meet me in person, um, you're going to be like, oh my god, she really is tall, first reaction I get from everybody, and then also, I am sort of awkward. When I meet people and sometimes on the phone, when I talk to people on the phone, I get like awkward or I say awkward things. And then I'm like, I'm being awkward and weird on the phone just because I, I am pretty awkward, gangly, gangly person. I'm an awkward, gangly person. Yeah. All the protein, all the protein. <laughs> when my book be out, my book will be out so, so soon. By the end of June is really my goal for my book um, to have it out, to have it done, to have it ready to go. But, I mean, there's like, there's an editing process, which I don't, you know, I don't know. It just takes how long it takes. So, yes. So, yeah, I just want to do a different video tonight. Talk about, uh, more about, you know, things that I really enjoy. A little bit more about me and, and what I'm passionate about. And, you know, all these different things I've been through in my life that kind of led me down the path that I'm on now. You know, being an athlete, I was put on so many different diets. All these different teams I was on. I was always on different diets for different coaches and things like that, getting weighed before practice and, um, you know, ridiculous things like that, you know, lifting, you know, having different trainers and coaches, different weightlifting coaches, all that stuff. Um, really, really interesting going through school, you know, uh, graduate school, having kids while I was in graduate school, that was really tough, really, really stressful to do. And then feeling like, um, y you know, being so stressed out and then having stuff go wrong with your body. So I had thyroid issues after my pregnancies. I had all these other hormone issues and personally things. And that started me, you know, on the path that I'm on now is that, you know, I, I'm struggling with these things. I feel like there should be an answer out there. Why isn't there an answer? That's kind of a lot of what led me into diving deeper. Cause I just, 
I wasn't satisfied with like some of the information that was out there. So in diving deeper, I found out more info and really put together a meal plan for women that is amazing. Um, and it gets amazing results. And that's my favorite thing about working with women is the amazing changes that they have. I like saying things like, I finally fit into these pants that I haven't been able to fit into. I've got more energy. Things are better. All that other great stuff. So that's what I'm really, really excited about. Um, yeah. Anyway, I... Oh, where's the other thing? Okay. So anyway, that's what I've got for you guys tonight. I just wanted to chat a little bit more. If you guys have questions, you can let me know. You can message me or you can comment below. Um, but I will let you know when the book is out. And that's just yeah, a little bit more about who I am and you know why I'm so passionate about what I do. And then if you do want that free meal guide, just go to my website. Click download it. You'll get a great jump start on everything. And keep on the lookout for my book. Yeah. All right. Everybody have a great night.